Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 2nd January 2016, Pathankot Air Force Station was attacked by a group of heavily armed terrorists with AK-47 grenades and IED. This incident was a wake-up call for the Indian Air Force to strengthen the air base's security and need for armored vehicle inside the Air Force base with the help of which commandos or soldiers can be moved safely in advent of any attack. Last month, during an encounter with terrorists in Pulwama, the Indian Air Force Garur Special Forces commandos have been spotted using their new Ashok Leland light bulletproof vehicle LBPV. On April 13, 2021, Ashok Leland has delivered the first lot of the light bulletproof vehicle to the Indian Air Force. The Ashok Leland LBPV is an adopted version of Lockheed Martin's CVNG, common vehicle next generation, and developed under TOT from Lockheed Martin to Ashok Leland. It is completely indigenized and developed in India. The LBPV is a 6-ton light bulletproof vehicle which can withstand any bullet and grenade attacks and would help in countering terrorist attack and mobilizing troops safely in a hostile environment. The vehicle can carry six commandos or quick reaction team members. It is 4x4 wheel drive designed and built to operate in tough terrains under adverse weather conditions. The number of vehicles conducted by Indian Air Force is yet not clear. LPPV has got four main characteristics that makes it ideal for a host of military applications. First, high off-road mobility in mud, sand, rocks, and shallow water. The vehicle will get the payload to where it needs to be, no matter what. Second, extremely high payload accommodating a crew of six and ample cargo space to carry substantial mission equipment. A high fraction of what gets to the mission location is payload, not just vehicle. Third, an outstanding ride quality and low occupant absorbed power. This means that the crew can easily endure driving long distance off-road and still be an effective fighting workforce at the end of the trip. Fourth, the vehicle offers superior protection and combat capability. The crew is well protected from both ballistic and blast threats and can launch attacks. Talking about its specification, the vehicle has been protected by 6mm thick armor protection and a 40mm windshield which can withstand AK-47 and sniper rifle bullets. Within its radius, it can withstand 8kg of TNT blast. The roof-supported seating arrangement provides better traveling experience for troops traveling through rough terrain. A canopy covered or protected by armor has also been provided which can allow gunner to fire freely at its target. Whereas it has 360 degree rotatable gunner pods at the top of vehicle provides additional advantage to operate in adverse condition. The vehicle can be driven at high speeds of up to 100-220 km and can also run on flat tire. The vehicle can accommodate six fully geared Garud commandos or quick reaction team members while the open space in the rear can have more men. It can carry total payload of one ton. It also has rear view camera and surveillance camera for better situational awareness of the troops. These cameras can operate in day and night. The camera footage is displayed on a high definition monitor and can record up to one hour of footage. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.